Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty in career mode. Here today for part 38 for the Spanish Grand Prix and round 6 of season 3. This is the grid ahead of the Spanish Grand Prix. We've got ourselves another pole position alongside George, which is actually a repeat of the front row here last season. Then it's Piastri just behind Hamilton, then it's Alonso and Schumacher, old rivals. Then it's all Ferrari headed by Leclerc. Then it's Lando and Verstappen, Gasly and Stroll, Bottas and Albon, Ocon and Sonoda, Sargent and Joe, Lawson and Kevin Magnussen, and on the final row of the grid is Enzo Fittipaldi and Nick De Vries. This is the strategy then for the Grand Prix, soft to mediums, the quicker strategy of the day when we're not touching our tyres if we don't have to, like that bomb strategy says, but then this is it, the Spanish Grand Prix, the vibrant lights come on, and we are racing here in Spain, we've got a good start ahead of the two Mercedes. And the clouds in the north will start, Piastri come backwards, Alonso come forwards, and we're going to try to go down the outside of his team, but it's all right, nearly does it. And George now has to try and get that run on the inside, and he does, Hamilton on the soft, trying to use his tyres better than his teammates, but we lead the Grand Prix after the start, and fend off the attack from the two Mercedes, now we on to lap 2, and we've got wide of it, the soft cab, they've spun all the way around 360, going through the gravel, trying to lighten the tyres to get going again, we've lost so many positions, we're down to P8, after one very, very costly mistake, can't believe we've done that, we just ran wide, but beached onto the curb, and that sent us round, and then, I've just tried to lift up the tyres to get going again and we haven't gone anywhere. George point of view, just the open track has just opened up like Noah's Ark there. So we've got a long race ahead of us now to try and pull away from these behind. But he's still soft tyres once again. Lap 3 this is now. Is everyone behind Max Verstappen and Lando Norris for me to win? So up the side for the first corner and now the second corner. Verstappen has the inside line at turn three. Gets the job done. And now this is Joe. He's slowing down. He's got an issue with his Alfa Romeo. Not for the first time this season. He is out of the Grand Prix. And now they match this up and we just couldn't pull away from the Red Bull behind. Let's get the job done. We can try and take it up we go back around the outside. And as we go side, we give him a little nudge. Max has to back out and it's job done for now. But now this is Lando trying to go around the outside of Max for Zappin there. Has he got the job that he has? Fair play, Lando Norris, what a move on the double time world champion now here comes Lando oh, down the street he's got us we're going to try and hold it to the outside the Lando cuts us off big time slams that door firmly shut going into turn one and it's dropped in for him it was so, this was so frustrating because I feel like if Max goes to the inside of us again that we had good pace but we just couldn't use it, we just couldn't bring the DRS, we just couldn't get away. And you can see how much Lando's got the road now. And now this is once again Max trying to get at us. At us. It's like it was last season, I think we battled him last season. We also had that battle with George as well. And he's up the road now, leading this Grand Prix, we fend off Max again, but he'd be back again at lap 9. Copy and paste, going down the pit straight we go, we really squeeze back to the inside, nearly comes out there, Max tries to get back down the inside, has to back out of it, big time there, otherwise it's getting his front wing sliced off, and giving us a puncher, down into turn 1, we did the down turn 4, we fend off the inside line, but, Max stays behind us, so now lap, towards the end of lap 9, on to lap 10, 
and Max is coming at us again, we just couldn't pull away. Those behind them started to catch now, we're battling Max so hard. We fend off Max rolling outside, keeping behind, and he... This would just copy and paste every single lap of this Grand Prix. It's just these soft tyres again, this car, as we fend off Max around the outside, this car, for me at least, just doesn't seem to work on these soft tyres this year. But, Schumacher, who was giving us a slight bit of hope in this Grand Prix for some good points, is now out of the Grand Prix with an engine issue which raised concerns over us as Max has happened. Gets past us now, we're gonna tuck back in this next room and we're gonna bring later to the inside of turn one nearly contact. Max has to get right out of it. And we've been battling that hard in this race that Bottas and Alonso and those behind Ocon's in the mix as well there. Stroll as well. Um Stroll, not Alonso. They're in the mix. But here comes Max again to the outside. So here comes the other Red Bull now of Valtteri Bottas who's got himself involved. We fend off one Red Bull and it's Bottas the other one who's trying to down our inside. And Max Verstappen trying to gain one is lost out to his teammate there. And I'm sure Red Bull will be happy about that one. The number two driver, firm number two driver, overtaking their number one driver. But you can see the lovely little train we have now behind us but lap 14 we come into the pits the two Red Bulls both stay out as we nearly put it in the barrier on the way to the grid the pits rather and the box and now this is the two Red Bulls Verstappen re-overtaking Bottas that looks fairly easy there I think Red Bull probably ordered the switch around as we go on to the mediums but just like Monaco, we've had a slow stop, we've ghosted and we've come out behind Ocon. That's two poor pit stops in a row for us. In Monaco, it cost us two positions, it cost us one here. Monaco will cost us to sharply overtake, but we did get through that day. But further around the lap, we're going to send. It's so late on Ocon. Get the job done on the French driver. Now pull away, hopefully, and get after the Red Bull. See if we can build a gap on them, because they're both still staying out. But Ocon isn't finished with us yet. As we go neck and neck down the pit straight, we're side by side. We've got the OD button with the DRS. The Red Bull is coming out of Max Verstappen. We send it around the outside, break late. And that's a great move if I do say so myself. And on these medium tyres I felt a lot more comfortable. We were keeping the gap to Max, we were keeping the gap to Lando. We set the fastest lap of the race on lap 17, going on 18. But this is where I found it very frustrating in this race because we had pace because every time we started making inroads on Lando the gap stayed around 6 seconds, we fend off Max there. The gap was staying around 6 seconds. Every time we got it down to around 4 seconds, Max decided to start raising us again. And we lost all that time, and that's what kept happening. And then we kind of just ended up focusing on our mirrors than Lando, who I'm pretty sure we could have caught by the end of this Grand Prix. But Max has overtook us. And he has got up the road. On this now, you can see the gap to Lando that's still around 6 seconds despite all our battling. But it's still. I think we still could have maybe got close to him if we weren't for this battle with Max. But we were just keeping with him. We got in the DRS again and got him back into turn 1 for P8. They said this is for P8, but onto the final corner then, George Russell, we handed the lead to him on a plate, and he never looked back, and he's won 
the Spanish Grand Prix. It's a Mercedes 1-2. Land Piastri comes home for P3. Behind Alonso, and we're going to come home just about for P3. have pulled off a great victory here today. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Well, they are very much at one with the car, which is a cliche, but it's true. It's not an easy process, and that work is very much paying off. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So that's been the Spanish Grand Prix then, a Mercedes 1-2, perfect day for them. George kind of feel like we gifted it to him though after that very, very rookie mistake. Down at was turn 6 for me, went over the Sasha curve, on the car around, at least we got the fast slap to today though. It could have been so much more and I feel like it could have been more if it weren't for that early stint on the soft tyres. We need to sort out whatever is going on with this car, whether it's my driving style or my pursuit Magda though was in the mix. Just a of the Ferraris before his engine went luckily that didn't affect our race we didn't end up finishing but George now has an 11 point lead in the championship we are now 35 points behind six races in it's looking tough if we want to keep this title keep the number one on our car this season is looking difficult but there's still 10 races to go this season this is the constructors then mercedes still on top and now have a big lead 96 points back to us we stay ahead of aston martin as well who have sort of dropped off after the opening couple of races when they were right in the mix that's been the Spanish Grand Prix. Bit of a frustrating one. I feel like it could have been so much more today if it weren't for that mistake. We go to Canada next. We need a result there. I thought we could build on Monaco after the disappointment of Australia and China. But start fresh in Canada. Goodbye.